we're learning today? We're learning about how the air flows. Okay, so what we did is we got this um, a blower. Giant. Right, it's called air blower. All right, let's hold it and um, we got some uh, pieces of wood from karate class. So first of all, we're gonna try to make it steady as possible. All right, we need some more blocks. This one, right. one. One more? Okay. All right. Is it staying? All right, so we'll probably put something on the side too. All right, let's fast forward. So we got some wood around it to keep it steady. All right. Yeah. All right, so this is how it is. All right, there's an air gonna be flowing on the top. All right, so let's, let's see if we're gonna stay steady. Let's turn it on. Try putting in the string. Put it. <laughs> Try. All right. Put in the number one. Yeah. Just a little bit more. Uh, what I did, I drew this uh, on piece of paper, and uh, so this principle it calls Bernoulli's principle. Principle, right? And the way it works is you have a flow of air that's coming from here, right? Going up in a, a single direction, right? So let me draw this. It, each one goes up like this, up like this, up like this, right? It's a one steady stream coming from, let's see, um, this is a blower that we were using, right? It's hard to do it when you have phone in your one hand and trying to draw on a second, you know, using a second hand. Okay, so our ball was right in between. Let's see if I can draw this. All right, all right. So this was our ball that was on this airflow. So what this principle says is that when you have a air in one stream going straight, your outside pressure is higher. So it creates a low pressure inside. So all the pressure, all the like air is going up, but it's pushing this ball and the ball itself is rotating inside. It's going up and down, but is staying within the stream because you have your high pressure coming from outside and you have created really low pressure inside, right? It's just a simple demonstra uh, demonstration using this ball, right? But um, what we could do is we can use a smoke <coughs> to understand the flow even better. So if you have like, uh, let's say some smoke that if you put uh, near a blower, the, all the air, you know, all the smoke is gonna come up and you can actually see this in a live in action. Like you can't see air unless you put something in it. So hopefully next time when we uh, go outside, we can find that uh, smoke. Um, there, there are, you know, things that you can buy to create the, that kind of smoke. Uh, you don't wanna use fire or anything to create the smoke because that's dangerous. Right, uh, but there are other mechanisms you can use to see this in a live in action. 
Now, this is just a simple example, but scientists and uh, aerodynamic engineers, they use this flow to understand, you know, for example, a car, when the car is going at the speed, how the flow is gonna be um, working. So they can design the car such a way that it has less friction on the car. So it can go and give you better mileage, uh, it goes faster, smoother, right? So there are many, many different applications. This is just a simple example. And what we did outside was, you know, just an example, you know, uh, like live demonstration. Uh, but there are many, many different applications. I want you guys to go on YouTube, um, you know, go and study a little bit more and find out what, where else can you use this application uh, to learn more about the, the flow and learn more about this principle as well. All right, learn something new? Okay. All right.